Hello friends and welcome back to Animal Crossing! I am Peachy Llama here on YouTube and yes, you read the title correctly. I finished Riverwood. I just couldn't stop. <laughs> Let's just say I've had a lot of inspiration to do other islands and I really just wanted to knock out this one because I wasn't feeling as attached to it and I thought about actually flattening this island and now I'm thinking I'm gonna restart it instead so it's either gonna flatten or restart I'm not sure which one but this island is done I actually got done everything on my list that I wanted to do for this island it was supposed to be a norm core vibe on our to-do list that I did get done we've had it a boba shop a flower shop a farm a fair a flower garden a food truck beach a French and pizza restaurant and a little farmers market with jams literally that's my entire list that I had for Riverwood and I actually got it done on top of that I made some packs Path designs for you guys today to check out. I'm really excited to share that with you. It's the first time I've created a path before, but this is my version of the path, basing it off the resident services bricks. And then I went ahead and added seasonal changes to it. So this is my design code so you guys can check them out yourself. I hope to create some cool icons for them so you guys can share them around too because I'm really excited about them. Anyway, back to the fact that we are doing a tour of Riverwood. Okay, so this is our map. These are our f I know, I never I never changed our villagers. The only villager that left was Stitches because Wolfgang was in the campsite and, I, and he was picked Stitches to go. So I was like, okay. So this is our lovely, lovely map. I'm so excited about it because I really am glad I utilized the real path so you can kind of see where things go. Um, you can see the dream address below. Feel free to tour along with me as we get going here. Let's get started. As you all know, we have our norm core vibes here in the entryway. It's my norm core fountain entrance that I built for you guys. Um, it really went well as a video. One of my only builds that has done well as a video, so I appreciate you guys. I wanted to do this island in cherry blossom season mainly because of my 2521 references on this island, but that being said, I think it felt really good to put it in this way because none of my other islands have a final dream address that is in cherry blossom season, so this one will pass here is the one I created but um, I don't have the cherry blossom version on this main part because I just have it on a few others because I just didn't want to change what we had I think this was perfect so let's continue looking around our island here um, on the right side of course we have our amazing big hidden museum with the long and luxurious entryway that I have always wanted for a museum entrance. This video as well did well. We did this for this build. You guys have seen all this before, but I just wanted to share with you just how it looks now. I think some of the, I don't know if I had everything in place at, for the final video, but I think this is close enough. I really love how it turned out. I love a little coffee shop on the side and I really wanted to try to make it kind of a DC vibe because there's a lot of museums at the Smithsonian and that was kind of the vibe I was going for was a Smithsonian look. Really am proud of it. I hope to do another version of a hidden museum on my next island, but I'm really excited how this turned out for being for being my first one. Over to the beach here, we have, I guess I could have gone this way, but I have a little fossil digging area because I've never done that before and it's a norm core vibe that I wanted to represent. So this is... Um, my fossil digging area, I do enjoy it a lot and I think it's a lot of fun and is right next to museum perfect so blathers can get the fossils as soon as they show up. Yeah, yeah as you can tell, I'm kind of rushing through because guess what, I want to restart. I want to do things. I want to get going. I have ideas. And as we come up here, we have a small little food truck as because there are always food trucks by the Smithsonian Museums in DC so I wanted to include that here. As we come back, we are here in front of this beautiful street sign and everything. I love this crosswalk, this little bus stop basically. It's just super, super dang cute. 
I love it so much. As we come over here, I have a little soccer area because again, I think that was kind of part of it. We are doing our norm core vibes in 2020. I know some people had soccer fields because we had these soccer goalposts. And uh, Daisy looks very upset over there. I wonder who pissed her off. I am curious who pissed her off. Who who's mad? Who's angry? Was it Quinn? I'm sorry, baby. Anyway, um, this is my adorable reference. If you've seen 2521, you know this reference. I had to include it at this area because I think the one that they visited, it wasn't this color. I don't think this was the one. This is the color when they were separated. And this was the color of that one that they were at when they were separated. But the one where the cute like interactions happen was a different color. But when they flipped the water upside down, which I wish you could do here, but you can't. Um, I think it was a different situation, but I think it was near like a soccer field of a school or like just an open field of sporting field. So that's why I put it here. Yep. Enjoy my reasonings. Anyway, I love this little back path, which is super cute with the lights on the bottom here. I just love the way they look and there's a little path and a little fencing to separate the neighborhood from the little public um, area. And so very norm core vibes. I did nothing, nothing over here to Quinn and Puck's house. I just kind of went with it. I left the pathways as they were because I wanted to. And as we come over here, as you saw before, we have our cute resident services entrance with the balloons and the yellow, because the yellow was a big theme I was going for for a while, but kind of not the focus these days. But this is also a reference to 2521. This is the DVD and bookstore, comic book store that uh, she visits a ton in the show. Not really done a building like this before on an island, so again, wanted to give it a go if you want to use this window thingy i did that that'll be on this that'll be on my design code so check it out so i have another bridge over there but we'll go over there later as you come down the road we have the famous bus stop also from 2521 oh my goodness this is it. This is the this is the most important bus stop. They just stared at each other and unfortunately I don't have anyone to stare back at me for this particular shot, but this is this is the shot. If you know what I'm talking about, please leave a comment for me. I'll be really excited to read it. Um, but this is the beautiful cherry blossom orange seated bus stop from the show. This is one of my favorite builds. I had a lot of fun doing this and I want to do more references from other things in the future because I think it was kind of fun to recreate something I'd seen before. Coming down here to a little kind of downtown area, I wanted to have some fun with it and my gosh, Miranda, I don't want you to leave right now. You're going to ruin my shot. But this is one of my favorite spots on the island. I've never done a city core vibe, and so this was very exciting to get a chance to do. I just wanted to have a little tunnel and make it look really cool. And Miranda wants to leave, and it's really annoying. But um, I have another like um, bar over here, which I really love. But why is this wrong? How is this wrong? Now I'm gonna have to re I'm gonna have to redo the dream address. But this is also a reference to a few of the bars that um, they are at. I don't know if you can call it a bar. I'm really not sure what the location is if it's not like a bar type thing. It looks like, I don't know. It's a bar or a pubby type place um, with like the orange tarp. So I'm not sure if it's like a noodle place too. I'm not really sure, but I always thought it was sort of like a bar. So um, that's why I made it seem like because they were drinking there. So that was the vibe for what this little area was meant to be. And these are the parallel parked cars. Anyway, we're going to come down here to see the like more of the town district. I wanted to show off Nook's Cranny, which is more like hello balloon the nook's cranny is meant to be like kind of like a yard sale garage sale like um used goods basically i wanted to have it be um just something different than what i've ever done before so i wanted to have some fun um objects and different looks and not just be just like a supply store, but it's like um, old donated items to be resold and things like that. So that's what I was going for. Uh, Able Sisters, kind of the same similar vibe I always do, um, but I really do like how it looks this time. It's a little more modern than I usually do it. And I think it's fun to have like a seamstress kind of working out here and 
doing things outside so that was the vibe i was going for here and then we come to my little starbucks shop <laughs> i don't know if it's necessarily gonna be a starbucks but the idea was for it to be a little coffee shop in the middle of a park which i really love i think it looks really cute and um i'm really proud of it and it's fun it's just a nice little park for coffee and reading and having a nice morning or evening um, so that was the vibe here i love this path this path is one of my favorites i did not create it but it inspired to me to make my own path because i was like this is amazing but anyway we're coming down here to the food truck beach which is super cute and something new i don't know if i've seen it much before where um you have like food trucks on the beach but I just randomly thought about it and I thought that would be cute to have the hanging lights in between the palm trees and have just a little deck where you can sit and eat and have these cute food trucks out so that you can order what you would like and then go sit down. And I just think that's super, super cute and it's something again different. I haven't seen it on other beaches before but I'm sure other people have thought about it too. I just have never seen it yet so I decided to make it like this and i just love the way it looks i think it's so so cute and so fun it's just really adorable and that is it for this corner of the most items of this island this is the most laggy part of the island so i apologize in advance if you're a little laggy when you're exploring but we're going to come through town and explore this awesome little area i'm really really proud and excited for it and i love the use of the single panels as like a wall i haven't done that before and i saw it on pinterest where they had the hedges on top and i just absolutely loved it so this is one of my favorite looks on the whole island so this is also the reason why i don't want to just flatten the island and restart because i want to save this forever in a dream address so that is why we're gonna restart when we do this and i come over here and have some benches and a little crane game and some fun stuff here i realized i just didn't do anything at the campsite wow my campsite is left alone i kind of forgot about it but that's okay i was gonna do a party over there but i don't care insert in for the beach i did this in 10 minutes there you go i did i did a quick beachy campsite by the way, the campsite is officially filled for the updated dream address and got very lucky with that one. <laughs> this is what happens when you're done with an island and you just want to get it out. Anyway, I have a little uh, elevated neighborhood which I really do enjoy. I think it's very nice, very pretty, and I'm really happy with it. I've never done an elevated neighborhood, so I'm glad to have had a chance to do one. Um, but yeah, it totally didn't do a whole lot here because I was busy doing too many other things, but that is okay. You know what? We're okay. I just wanted to be done with this island. But I do like how it looks and I am very proud of it, even though it's very simple compared to my other islands. But you know what? That was the point. It was supposed to be norm core. It doesn't have to be anything fancy and crazy. And this area is more like just a zen, beautiful area. I guess I should have waited. I'm going to redo my dream address because these aren't even done yet. Whoops. I'll fix that. Anyway, we're going to reset the dream address before you actually see it. So hopefully when you see this again, when you visit yourself, these bushes will actually be bushes. You know what I mean? The shrubs will be shrubs. Anyway, I just wanted to have a more nature-y, relaxing area. And that's kind of this look here. Um, I wish it was more center, but it is not because this game will not let me put anything in the middle of what I want. <laughs> so it's a little off center, but I don't care. I just think it's a nice, beautiful, peaceful, calming, zen location to just relax and have some thoughts. And that is what I went for, for this part of the island. And now we race back down because I'm so excited to be done with this island. So coming across here is what I've always wanted to do. And that is a French and uh, pizzeria restaurant -y vibe with Cousteau and Chatter. Um, Chatter is the host to the pizzeria because the pizza dog, my fiance, loves Chatter. 
and he loves cheese that's why the whole this whole thing is inspired by cheese um because they're both cheese creatures so um chatter owns the pizzeria but then Cousteau, i know he doesn't have a french house he's got a very japanese style house i know but he is the owner of the french restaurant <laughs> But I didn't feel like doing HHP for this island, so we are gonna do with what we got And I think this looks really nice. I love the de the one detail I want to point out to you guys is using the plant partition with the wooden accent with that um, same matching brown wood um, Pergola, oh my gosh together. It reminds me of like a winery or just like a beautiful outdoor restaurant space So if you you know want to use that for something later go for it when I saw it put together in my while I was like playing with stuff I was like, oh my god, this is perfect. I'm probably gonna use this style of look later so very very happy with how it turned out. I think it's adorable past the museum we come up to the fall area, yes, I left a fall area here because I originally did this for October and I didn't feel like changing it, but um, I was tempted to make these all white pumpkins so it matched uh, this theme, but I honestly literally do not care. I just want to get this done. I just wanted to share it with you and see how cute it was. Like, this is so cute. Use the pergolas, guys. Find a way to utilize these pergolas. It's so fun. I love it, love it, love it. As you all have seen before, this is my house purely, purely based on 2521, her house in the show. Everything is based on it. You can check out the video here in the cards. And we're going to keep going. And so this way is a little carnival I wanted to have. I wanted to have a seasonal carnival here, but we ain't doing a seasonal thing because this is this is the final carnival. But I wanted to include a carnival here because I don't think I've had a proper one. Like Wind Lake had one, but I didn't do a good job on it <laughs> in my opinion. So um, I really like how this one turned out. I think the layering of the objects was really well done for such a small space and then including these um, rope fences was really nice I think to show off the like waiting in line and things like that but really happy and proud with the objects used in the layering and the small space to really make it look like a full park and come over the bridge and we have Rald's boba shop it's super cute I love it this is my cute um, cherry blossom path that I made now on the ground um, but this was the vibe I think it's pretty pretty dang cute, you know, um, his outdoor boba shop. I wish we had like boba shells or something and not just these tiny little objects. I wish I could like put multiple on a space. Like this drives me crazy that we can't put tiny objects together like multiple in one spot because my gosh, if I could have all the boba sitting up here, this would be great. And we come around to this cute little park area that's totally not looking great yet because the shrubs are not big enough yet. So I'm gonna have to redo those three minutes. I wanted something simple and easy to put in this space. Like that's my whole thing is symmetry and filling the space with parks and picnic areas. That's always my go-to because it's one of the easiest things you can do, I think. Over here is a very cute little picnic area. I don't even know if I can sit down. I can. Yeah. It's adorable. If you want to go back up to the nature way, it's up this way. And then we're going to come back around and finish our look over here because Daisy has a, guess what, flower shop. I was actually going to have her be the um, boba shop owner, but then I was like, she literally is named after a flower. So I decided to make her the flower shop owner. I really think it's sim this is also very simple, but also super stinking cute. I love how it turned out. I wish I could do her interior as well, but I'm too lazy to do HHP. This is the entrance to the farmer's market, which I'm really excited about. I call it a farmer's market, but it's more like a flea market. So we have fish and pottery, as well as a cute little spring seating area to enjoy food in. This is like a little bakery spot, which I love so much. And this is an, like basically if Daisy wanted to also sell at her shop up here, she can have a little stall as well as kind of the, the vibe I was going for. So let me show you how this worked over here. Look at the layering at this. I figured this out. 
and I got so excited. So the project table put behind a stall, when you look at it from this angle, can look like everything's just elevated up one. It makes it look like a proper shelf. So it makes the shop look deeper, if that makes sense. So highly recommend it if you have the opportunity and have the um, DIY, I would totally make a project table and put it behind your stall to add a second layer to your shop. This is also a decoration style I just started using the large lattice fencing with the hedges, I just think is a nice look, a nice finishing touch, especially for like the, just to have like a background to a stall. I just think it looks super nice, but even that, in general i just love the way the fencing combo looks i haven't liked like usually when i do a fencing combo i'll put the iron and stone fencing with the hedges but this is the first time i found a fencing type that i really felt like works also with this hedge that i really like so just wanted to share that tidbit with you and it's the brown color by the way this is the brown color because i know there's a brown and a dark brown and a red and it's confusing but Anyway, this is my farming area. This is where I get very norm core because I wanted to have a proper farming spot. Um, I wanted to fill it out, but I didn't because I'm going to restart this island anyway. But I wanted to show off some norm core fun areas as well as a little pumpkin patch because pumpkins are my favorite of all time. And then I have a little storage area, which I thought was super cute because across the way is a little crafting area. I've never done a crafting area, so I thought it would be fun to do a crafting area yeah and this is my flower garden which uh daisy will maintain for her shop that was the whole vibe because i just covered everything in flowers everything is literally just covered in flowers and i put the gazebo here because it just looked cute we're just going with it we're gonna make the flowers look like they have a purpose even though they really don't but that is it that is this island and oh my gosh we're done yay that is it for today's video guys i am so excited i have so many ideas for a new island i'll let you know right now i was gonna do a fall island but i don't think i'm gonna finish it before the fall season ends so i'm gonna make an island the goal being an island that i can change seasonally i really want to be able to do that for real this time and so I'm going to start with the winter season because I want to make sure I have it ready for December because December is literally like three weeks away and that is crazy to think about. But I want to start now and have it be a winter season and then by next fall we'll be so ready to make it the most fall island I've ever wanted in this game. I'm so excited. So if you did enjoy this video, please remember to give this a big thumbs up and consider subscribing so you'll be notified the next time I post, the next time I get to restart another island. I literally started Llama Land two months ago, almost three. To be fair, it is almost three months ago now, but um, that island was fresh and new and is literally only for experimental uh, builds and things like that. So um, the entrance video, I think that should have gone up the week before this video was an example of what I'm trying to do on Llama Land. So don't expect to see anything else really from Llama Land if it's not just like a build. I just want to clarify that. Otherwise, for actual gameplay and designing of an entire island, that is what we are doing now with restarting Riverwood. And I'm very, very, very excited to get started. I don't know if I'll name it the same thing again because Riverwood is really cute, but I need to think of a new name, a name that's really nice. And eventually when I lose my sentimental value to Amberino and Will-O-Wisp, I'll restart them. But because I have zero sentimental value to this island, I am so excited to restart it. So let's get right to it. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for sticking with me through all of this. I hope you guys are just as excited as me for our new adventure. I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!